Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of personal financial literacy. This is standard 3.9D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 off the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So with personal financial literacy problems, we're probably not going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. We just need to know how money works. That's what personal financial, personal financial literacy means. How does money work? So Mrs. Williams needs to borrow $6,000 from the bank to pay for some home repairs. She paid back $7,500 to the bank. And why do we think she paid back more than she borrowed? All right, so let's first understand a few terms. So here's the thing so miss williams has some home repairs that she needs to pay for and she goes to the bank and she wants a loan of credit so credit is used when you don't have enough money to pay for something and you actually get somebody else to pay for it so she needed to pay this six thousand dollars to let's say a handyman so let's say our handyman here his name is steve he's going to fix her house and it cost him six thousand bucks in order for him to fix her house problem is mrs williams does not have the six thousand dollars so what she does is she is going to go to a bank and when she goes to the bank she is going to ask them for six thousand dollars and guess what she is able to get her six thousand dollars which she then passes back to steve now, the bank is going to need their money back, and she doesn't have it immediately. She had that $6,000. Well, guess what? She would have just paid Steve herself. So she had to go get a loan of credit from the bank, and she's going to start paying them back monthly, most likely. What they'll do is they'll set her up with some monthly payments. And she'll get some monthly payments, and maybe after four or five years, she'll be able to pay the whole thing off. But when she goes to pay the whole thing off, Instead of just $6,000, she pays back, if you add up all her monthly payments, it's $7,500. So why in the world is she paying back more than what she borrowed? She only borrowed $6,000. She's going to pay back a total of $7,500. Well, that's the question, isn't it? And so here's the thing. When we are looking at a bank and when we are looking at borrowing money, anytime, whether it's a bank, whether it's a credit card, whether it's a loan company, there is something that we need to pay attention to, and that's called interest. Because you might be wondering, why in the world would this bank give money away? They are in business to make money, not give money away. And so the bank, it doesn't help the bank in order to give their money away that doesn't help them there's a chance that mrs williams might not be able to pay the money back and they lose the money so why would they just give their money away well they do and the catch is you actually have to pay back a percentage on top of it as interest so it's a fee so think of it as a fee and they get their money their six thousand back plus a little bit on top and that's worth their effort so that's why she's paying back more so Let's see what our answer selections are here. She made a mistake in calculating the amount she needed to pay back. No, I mean, I guess that could have been, but no one's going to make a $1,500 mistake. No, she is having to pay back more because uh, of this interest that is charged on this loan of credit so that the bank could make a little bit of money. She actually needed more than 6,000? Nope. It says right here, that we took the 6000 and that went straight to Steve, so we're good right there. She had to pay interest on the amount of money she borrowed. That is most likely going to be our answer, but let's just double check D. She had to pay sales tax on the amount she borrowed. Now, that's a tricky one, because if you've ever gone to a dollar store, you know that something is not just a dollar, right? If something's a dollar, it usually turns into like a dollar eight, and that's because of sales tax, right? And the state gets that money but you don't pay sales tax on loans or credit. And even if you did, the bank wouldn't get it, the state would get it. So that is not gonna be correct. Our answer is going to be C, she had to pay interest so the bank could make their money too.